Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm just going to share with you uh, why I went with the AR platform against the AK-47. Okay, both are semi-auto. Okay, a few years ago when I first encountered the 762 by 39 cartridge, I said to myself, how are we going to win with this kind of ammo? This is, uh, you know, bigger than the 5.56, way bigger. So, you know, as I've uh, learned, shot, and built a few AR-15s, and I get to know more about the platform, okay? So I thought it's, uh, what do you call this? It is one of the cons of the platform, the, the ammo itself. But actually, it is one of the, the positive side of the platform, okay? So, sure, the 7.62 by 39 is deadly in short distances, but in long-range shooting, the 5.56 is more superior because, look, the 7.62 by 39 has a heavier bullet, so the bullet drop is more pronounced than the uh, 5.56 plus... The 5.56 runs at around 3,150 FPS, while the 7.62 by 39 is slower at 2,350 FPS. Okay, and also going back to the rifle, for me, the AK-47 is a primitive design. So in terms of the edges, a lot of sharp edges especially the safety you know some parts you can get cut but while the AR-15 platform is more refined more rounded on the edges including the magazines this is sharp this is sharp this is sharp very sharp as compared to a steel 556 five, magazine okay more rounded okay so it means it's easier to use less likely that you get cut okay and going back to the ammo recoil you know you can shoot two or three mags of the 7.62 by 39 and then you know you don't want to shoot anymore it's not enjoyable to shoot but with the 5.56 five, or 223, you, I can shoot all day. Okay, what else? Um, also, yeah, based on the video, like this M16 versus AK47, very increased lethality. Very educational, lots of, of uh, technical details. Okay, so you can carry more ammo because, you know. And because this weighs less than the, the, this one, something like that. And oh, when I saw the, the difference in the ammo, I said, why not just uh, use the 7.62 by 51 or the 308 ammo? So, so I said that I, I thought, so I thought initially that this will be the answer to this. But every time I shoot the 308, it's not as enjoyable as the 5.56223 and although it's accurate especially for long ranges for short or uh, intermediate distances this can be an overkill plus you can carry less it's more heavy you know because obviously it's bigger uh, what else AK-47 generally are more reliable because the tolerances are not that tight compared to the AR platform. And also the main reason is the main reason why I went to this platform. It's been a couple of times that I've seen cheap uh, AR AK build kits, but I didn't grab one when I saw how to build an AK-47. You know, with an AR, you can build it at home with this and an armorer's wrench. With an AK, you need a machine press and you know how to rivet those um, metals. 
and I, I don't want to do that. Okay, and the price before the AKs are cheaper than the M16, but today the ARs are way way cheaper, like half. You can buy half the price of this, and you can also 3D print some of the parts, including uh, the lower. Okay, so make your build uh, cost less. And also, yeah, and then be going back to the point of uh, AR is cheaper, you can buy it piece by piece. That's why I love uh, Palmetto State Armory. Okay, you can buy the lower today, next payday, the lower parts kit, next payday, the buffer, buffer tube, etc., etc. And also, um just want to share with you with the movie edge of the, the movie edge of tomorrow when i saw you know the it's a futuristic movie i was disappointed to see that in the future they will still use the 556 i said how is it possible will not will one day develop uh, a better cartridge a more powerful cartridge and i read some forums that the 556 will not go away anytime soon even uh, though that it will be replaced by the army with a 6.8 SPC. But they said that majority of, of uh, people said that there will always be a need for an intermediate cartridge like the 5.56. That's why the AK platform has the AK-74 which fires the 5.45. I'm not familiar with that. Okay, so maybe, maybe in the future... We'll still use the 5.56 to 3 round, you know, uh, especially in short distances and intermediate distances, okay? So that's it, basically it. And I love, really love buying the, the AR by piece or by part until I build my completed AR. So that's it guys, just want to share with you my journey in the world of firearms, especially the reasons why I went with this guy right here. Thanks for watching.